So everyone, just um, out, still outside Craig's house, just literally just filmed his tank, but I am actually on the way somewhere now to buy a new fish. So um, I won't let you know what it is right now, but I've got about an hour's drive to where I'm going to pick this new fish up. So let's hit the road and go and find out what I'm getting. Check this tank out, man. So this is what I'm getting today, a stingray. So it's this guy at the back here. Is that one all in it? Yeah. Yeah, it's lovely, man. I can't wait to get him home. Mate, they're just like amazing, don't they? Don't look real, do they? No. Definitely sort of unique, you know? Yeah. You'll see when I see him sucking down. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a vac. Um, like, no, I ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Stay in there. I find as well, I'm going to eat my own words, but I find they don't panic. But when they're in that tub. Yeah. I mean, you look at the size of him in here now. Yeah, he's lovely. He looks he's much lovely. bigger, doesn't he? Yeah, he does, doesn't he? Wow, check him out, man. See how stress-free that was? Yeah, yeah. Much easier than netting. So I need to get one at the big tub tonight. It's just a, just a lunchbox, that's all. Yeah. So that was an eventful drive. It took me about two and a half hours to get back. Hopefully the fish is okay. Um, there was a massive crash on the M25. I don't know why people can't, can't just drive straight on the M25, you know, just get off your phones and stuff. But anyway, guys, um, let's go and check out the Stingray. Fingers crossed he's all right. So everyone, just got in through the door. I've got Dave the Ray in here. This is actually what um, the owner named him Dave, so I've got to keep calling him Dave. But he's in there, he's doing absolutely fine. And, um, oh, he just fell over. And I've got the JBL River Sand, which has just turned up for him. So I'm gonna be putting that in the tank as well. I've got three bags of this, 10 kilograms, ready to go. So he should feel really at home because obviously he's been living with this sand for so long now, I wanted to make it as the same as possible. But um, yeah, to stress him out anymore, let's get him outside, um, get him acclimated, get this tank ready for him with the sand in it. I just want to do a shout out to James. Thanks so much for giving me this Ray, mate. Obviously I've bought it off you, but, um, He's going to a really good home, mate, and I want to shout out to his kids as well. I'm just literally reading it off my phone because I don't know their um, names off by heart. To Jim, Josh, George, thanks so much. Um, this is a shout out for you on my channel. But the Ray's going to a good home. You'll see him in his new tank in the next few minutes or so. So stay tuned. So first of all, guys, obviously we need to acclimate this Ray. Um, really hard with a fish this size. So what you basically need to do is get a pipe, basically siphon some water out into the box. Let him chill out in there for about 10 minutes or so and then water will mix with the water that's in the box, if that makes sense. It will warm it up nice and slowly for him. And then basically, I need to try and find a tub now because I watched um, Ollie transfer this ray from his tank. He basically got in there, scooped the fish into a clear tub and lifted it out really slowly. So also I need to be really careful because these fish can sting you and um, apparently it's not a real nice um, experience. So let's get this acclimated. Then I've got the JBL river sand to put in this tank so I'm basically going to put the bag in the tank open the bag and let the sand out slowly so it doesn't create a massive plume in this in the tank I'm not actually going to clean this sand because I'm pretty sure it's actually pretty clean and then we can add the ray the fun bit so let's get all this done first get him acclimated come back out in 10 minutes or so and then um, I'll show you me adding the ray because so at the moment I'm looking at the camera and it's half the tank and half me so you'll actually see the ray going in the tank so it should be pretty cool Right everyone, so that is the sand in the tank now. Um, it's obviously missing up the water a little bit, but it's not too bad. Um, I'm actually really pleased with that sand. I thought it was gonna be absolutely filthy when I put it in, but it's absolutely sound. So, this is the fun bit now. I've never done this before, so I'm really worried about it. I've got myself some gloves here, which I'm just gonna put on my hands. And I've got this tub here. What I'm basically gonna do is net the fish in this little tub, take it up, plonk him straight in there. So, fingers crossed, wish me luck, and hopefully this works. So there you go, it's in the tank. So that was actually pretty much a nightmare to get him in. This thing sort of got stuck, wedged in between my two bits of glass up here, but he's in the tank. My heart rate's gone down now. Um, I can sort of relax a bit. He's actually quite big, so let me show you the fish. 
better put these lids back on. And I just in case, because I do have a big blue base Arowana in here. The Ray has hidden himself under the sandbag because obviously he's very stressed out right now. He's just been on a two and a half hours car journey. And I've um, just netted him up and put him in a kid's washing up bowl. I need to actually get myself some proper big clear ones, which are quite long. But yeah, at least he's in the tank now. Let me show you. So there we go, guys. He is buried himself at the back there underneath the sand. What we'll probably do, I'll give him a few hours or so, come back tonight, see how he's settled down. But obviously the water's pretty messed up as, as well, so it's not really good for me showing you the tank right now. But let's give it a few hours or so. But at least I've got the fish in the tank now. Stress-free, it's all, it's all done now. I haven't got to stress about it. Absolutely well pleased with the fish. Honestly, its colors are absolutely beautiful. But um, yeah, let's come back in a few hours and see how it's settled down. So it's been near enough five days now since I've added the Stingray. So let me show you what he's doing. So check him out guys, I'm absolutely in love with this fish. So this big Dave there, so I'm calling him Dave because the owner before named him Dave so I want to keep this tradition. But yeah, I'm absolutely in love with this fish. I've never seen a fish eat so much, he eats mussels, um, white bait, pellets, everything. He's absolutely, he's an absolute pig he is. I've got the bug for stingrays now so I want to get myself another one. But um, yeah, what do you guys think of him? So he's a black diamond. Um, the guy I got him from, I think he's a hybrid, but I don't really know, but some of you guys out there probably will know what he actually is, but um, he's actually quite a big fish, to be fair. He's sort of, um, probably, you say, eight or nine inches in diameter, so he's a big old fish. He was quite scary adding him. It's the first time I've actually kept the stingray, so it was quite scary for me putting him in the tank. But it's really cool. He goes around just sitting through the sand all day. Um, he actually buries himself in the sand as well. Sometimes you come out and you go, oh my God, where's he got him? And he's buried himself in the sand, so, yeah, really cool, interactive fish. Um, I really want to get one out in my lounge so I can actually enjoy it at night. But obviously that's got some massive plans for that tank in the future. So I don't want to be adding a thing to that tank at the moment. And plus I've got 20 clown lunches in that tank at the moment. And I don't know how well they're going to get on together. So I'm not going to do that right now. But yeah, this thing is doing absolutely fine. I'm blown away by him, if I'm honest with you. It's the first time I've kept one. I know I'll keep repeating myself, but honestly, I'm so excited keeping this fish. It's a first for me and it's absolutely awesome. Um, he's getting on really well with all the other fish in here. The blue base arowana's here, who um, is normally really aggressive with other fish, but he's doing absolutely fine with him. I've added a few blue acaras at the back there, um, which are getting on fine with the arowana as well, which is good. I actually took them out the uh, tank in the lounge because I've got a, a baby arowana growing up in there and they're quite aggressive fish, the blue acaras, so yeah, I took them out of there, but check out Dave, he's right against the glass now. This is how big he is, you can see him against my hand. So yeah, he is actually quite a big fish, he's not a small ray, he's not a baby. I think he's about a year and a half old, something like that, maybe older, I don't really know. But um, yeah, check him out, what do you guys think of him? Love it, absolutely love it. But anyway guys, that is the ray added. I am going to be definitely getting into rays now because I've got the bug for it. But um, thanks for watching the video as always. Like and subscribe to my channel. Ding the notification bell and keep it real everyone.